a uh, few things that I want to show you with uh, Jet Form Builder and Stripe payments, and especially for the ideal. If you uh, watched for the previous video, then you could see how you can able um, ideal. There are a couple of things that are very important. Otherwise, it won't work. And I'm going to show you what it is. So first of all, you have to know what the land code is where you're living in, and as you can see here, the dogstripe.com. For the euro, it's uh, without the O, so euro. So don't don't make that mistake to put an O in it. As you can see here, uh, it's also uh, with the form builder uh, documentation. You see here the link. And what you have to do is go in, uh, to your Stripe accounts. As you can see, you have able to test modus and go to uh, the settings. When you are in the Netherlands, then uh, you can see that's uh, what, you, what you have to do. Um, I'm going to click here. Payment gateways. And then you can see here all the payment gateways that you have to enable them if you want to use them. But especially uh, the ideal when you have a uh, subscription, then you have to check this box as well. So this is uh, for uh, my friends in the Netherlands. But of course, when you come from another country, then you can use uh, other uh, payments gateways. So you have to use PayPal for subscriptions. So um, this is important for the Netherlands. And you can read, of course, all the documentation. And when you are going to the form, there are uh, two options. Uh, one is to um, enable it directly from the form. So this is the uh, the key that I'm using, the test key, then you have to um, update the tokens. And then you can see that when it's good, you have to embed here the currency code that I've told you. And then you have to uh, search for the fields where um, you have to announce. So when we go into the form, I'm going to show you that later on, but you can also use the global settings. So then it will use the global settings. And where do you find the global settings? Of course, it's by the payment getaways. So you have the public key and the secret key that you have to embed. And then you have uh, um, the default settings. So the global settings. Now in this case, I uh, able them to have a donation. So I've chosen for the numeric fields, number fields. So I've added a new field under the number field, but you can also use the uh, hidden fields. Uh, and of course you can check here for hidden. And then you have to embed the hidden fields, and then choose for manually, and then embed the value. So this is the price that I have to pay. And then you have to update it and then going back to the settings to the block uh, to the get form settings and you go to the uh, payment getaways and then you have to choose the fields that you're using price amount fields and then you uh, can choose for the manual input so the difference is, is that here they can embed it uh, by themselves so can they, they can decide what they want to pay and this is a fixed uh, amount of payment that I have to pay. And then you can use the short codes uh, and you can embed them in here. Well, there are not sh short codes, there are tokens. Mm, no, not tokens, I'm, I, I don't get the word now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just paste them in here when you want to use them. And of course, don't uh, forget to uh, the post submission actions when you go here to the post 
uh, submission actions, and then you have to uh, embed it. You have to choose the post type, of course. Now this is for new posts, and uh, when you want to have it to be an updated post, then you go here and you go to the hidden fields, and then you have to embed also the post ID. So uh, keep that in mind. So when you have the post ID, where are you? Oh, now I have, yes, here it is. So then you have to choose for the post ID, the current post ID, otherwise it won't uh, update the post because it can find the ID. So every post has an ID. But when you don't, uh, but when it's the first time, then you don't have to use this. Another thing that is important that the submission type must be uh, Ajax. And when you embed it with uh, Elementor, then you can also choose it uh, in the Elementor field when you uh, post it on the website, on one of, the, of your pages. Another thing that's important that I want to show you is that you have here to go to the conditions. So when it uh, inserted or updated the post, and then you go to the advanced match, then you can choose uh, when the post will be posted, so the getaway is success is when they have paid, and uh, the getaway failed. <laughs> we don't know why you have to use that, but you can use it. And um, there are all tokens that you can use, so keep that in mind that you have to uh, also in, um, add the event, and you can also find it of course in the documentation here it is so just um, form builders payment getaways um, okay don't use the caching for this field so disable all the, the caching fields it's very important also when you're having a WooCommerce site and uh, the, the payment pages, you have to always, always um, check them out, the caching. And um, for the rest, I think I've said all that I have to say. So let's just see if it works. I'm going to keep it simple. And drag and drop it. Uh, let's say I'm crazy, not in 20. Oh. Uh, I'm going to show you why it uh, denies the 120. So then it goes to um, the checkout page. And you can see then you can choose for the ideal and when or you are on a phone then uh, you can also use um, you see here the ideal they can also use um, apple pay so okay and then i show you what was happening with the hundred more than 100 euros that it was denied and that's because I set it here to the maximum value of 100. So that's why uh, it didn't work. And the minimum value, well, I think uh, 10 euro is the minimums. So don't forget the Ajax. Eh? It's very important that you have an Ajax tabled. And as you can see here. Then I have uh, the save form records, and if you can see here, then it will store it into your WordPress environment. You can see here, it uh, will store it. Now the best thing that you can do, I didn't do that, but uh, when you are working on your website, then you have to disable the caching plugins. Especially with this payment uh, getaways and all those uh, tokens and the AP keys from Stripe, then you um, may have some conflicts when you able this. So talk a little. Uh, that was it. I'll see you the next time and have a nice.